Hey, what up guys? In this video, we're gonna go over a game against a viewer on my last live stream. This is a pretty good game. Nice little comeback, slightly, you'll find out. So it's just the English opening. I like to play the Dutch against this. A lot of this is theory, okay? Up until right here is theory. He goes there. I was trying to decide maybe cut here and then develop pressure there. It's actually an issue if I did that, which is what happened. He goes here. Now he's threatening to take my rook. And I think all I had to do is this. See that? Or I just come back home. Oh, coming back home is the best move. But I just do this, block it. Here, here, there, there. And he goes here and he's pinning it. Best move is just to take, but I didn't do that. I go here and this is where I make a fatal error. So I need to protect this. So I thought best ways to develop to protect it, but it prevents a key square. Can you find it? So basically it's right here. I got my shit pinned, uh, which is unfortunate. And then so I move and then, okay, I'm down the exchange and a pawn. But how are we gonna do this? The only way is with tactics. So I'm, I'm, ho I'm just hoping for the best. So we're moving, we're grooving. He goes here. I'm like, okay. So if he doesn't protect this, I'm gonna go right there. And then at the same time, I go here. And if he tries to protect, then I do some, some magic. This is my whole game plan. This right here. I gotta take full advantage of this diagonal. Get him off this here. And then I can take, right? That's my general game plan. He takes. He goes here, which is phenomenal. He's gathering up material. If this doesn't work, this is bad for me. Or he goes there. This is actually pretty good. I maintain pressure by moving up. He says it's not the best move. They want me to go rook d7. But nonetheless, they want me to go rook e3. And then that kind of like, oh no, rook e3. Hold on. If I go here, here, here. Oh. Uh, gotcha. All right, never mind. Whew, he had resources. Luckily, he didn't do that. He does this instead. Oh, the beauty of this is two attacks at once, and I get my exchange back. He's still up two, two pawns, but we're going for it. Get a pawn back, so now he's only up one pawn. I exchange things. I'm like, okay, let's see how good his end game is. And for some reason, I was so cocky. I was so confident. And not too much feedback I can share here. He's still up 1.5. Now he's up three. Yeah, I can't give too much feedback on end games. It's not my forte. All the pawns. We got a nice little draw. So lessons from this is be very aware of your king. Because I, I fell for the tactic. I fell for getting pinned. I didn't sense the danger. Right? This right here. That was my big mistake. Second key thing from this game is not to give up. There are a lot of times when you can make a comeback, especially if we're under 2000, someone's gonna mess up. You know what I mean? So this this right here, it's kind of like, it's this is like a poison pawn, hanging a pawn on purpose, just for the attack. And those are the two best moments of this game, to be honest. Good job, Suspenser. Appreciate you playing. If you guys want to play me while I stream, I stream pretty much every day. My Twitch is right here. See you in the next video.